Alright, so I want to give you a quick update on what's going on with the build. Right now, the block is at the shop. I went to drop it at the shop for a full close deck conversion. I wanted to do a semi close as I was mentioning more often in previous episode, but I decided to just go full on. It will take a while, maybe like a month or two. So I don't know yet, I'm not rushing. I just have to wait until they finish the block and they will let me know to go collect it. I'm very happy with the decision I made because I started working on the semi clothes. I inserted the pins. I was hoping to put it around like 21 pins. I ended up only putting nine, which was not going to do any good at all. And I was going to run into major issues as well. So the next time you see the block, you will see how the conversion uh, has gone because it's being done at the machine shop. And not only that, they're also going to drop in the sleeves. So they will do the close their conversion and they will drop in new sleeves as well. Everything is uh, is planned out. The pistons, I already got the pistons. I brought the pistons and the roads at the machine shop because that's what they told me, what they asked me. And as they do the sleeves, they want to do the sleeves with the proper gap and everything around it. So when I got the block, it's just going to be assemble, closing, close it, and then we're going to drop in. So once I get the block, it will just go back to back uh, of working with the uh, with the motor so that I can replace um, the and, and put in the new one in or the, the built one in. Uh, the old one, I am going to sell it. So as I was mentioning, the old one, I am going to sell it. So the moment I start running the build motor, the old one, I'm going to sell it. If you are interested in getting the old one, uh, let me know. The price that I'm going to sell it, I already price it out. It's going to be in between 2000 or 2500 because most components will be there. I will tell you which components I've removed, but most of the components will be there. The pistons will be there. Everything, I'm not going to open that motor. I'm, I am only going to remove the external physical parts like the hoses, the sensors, and stuff like that. Those, I am going to reuse them. But for anything else internal, I am not going to uh, open it. Even the cover, the timing chain, and whatever, nothing going to be removed. So. DM me your price and I would know with that price which components you would include in that motor. So if you're interested and you want to build a motor and you're looking for uh, a motor to build, uh, this one is an opportunity for you to let me know in advance and uh, so that we can block in and already someone is already getting this one. Uh, it is around 104 um k miles so it's up to you if you are interested or not but it's good for your rebuild there is nothing wrong with it i'm still running it again you you can see that i'm still running i don't have any other motor other than the one that is there currently and uh, the one that i'm building is the one that i got uh aftermarket so let me know uh drop the comments or dm me dm me it's better dm and uh, also send an email that you're interested in that motor and we make the deal. Let me know because I'm going to list it on, uh, I'm going to list it on eBay, by the way. So the quicker you act, the faster you will lock it and uh, probably in the next two months or so, you will uh, get that motor. And local only, unfortunately, I am not going to deliver unless you pay the delivery fee, I mean the shipping fee, unless you pay that and I can arrange that. But Preferably local, DM me if you are local, or maybe in the US you can come and uh, pick it up as well for yourself. There are quite a few things are happening behind the scene and I want to show you also those stuff. One of the thing is, uh, you know that I am going to run a aftermarket turbo, it's not the OEM one. Uh, this is the turbo that I am going to run and I'm going to open it, take it out of the box so you will see the turbo that I am going to use. All right, so this is the turbo that I'm going to use and uh, this one is rated at around 500 plus horsepower. And um, I really like this one because this one, it has uh, internal uh, actuator which means it's going to be much easier to run the external wastegate because it's electronic uh, external wastegate. 
it will be easier to run it and we're just going to cap off this this part here this one is from uh, max speeding roads and uh, i mentioned earlier it's rated 500 plus horsepower so i can easily reach up to 800 horsepower with this one and uh, we do have the side where we're going to connect it with um with the exhaust uh, while we're here i also want to get the dimension of this one so that i can order uh the um, uh, the flange that's going to connect uh the v-band flange that's going to connect from here to uh the table sorry actually not to the table from here to the downpipe and i want to get the external dimension of this one so it's roughly around three inch so the flange has to be three inch okay so i got my dimension is a three inch flange that i'm going to need uh that will connect from here to the pipe and the pipe goes to the down pipe okay so that's pretty much is it's a whole kit you know when you get uh, the turbo comes with a, a lot of stuff where you have uh, these flanges and stuff like that that you connect and well, oh it's already have uh, this one so I only need the only need the flange because it already has the, the v-band this is great and uh, it comes with other uh, accessories that I mentioned already uh, here are the accessories all right so when you are working on something that is not off the shelf uh, meaning like uh, sometimes something that is not OEM to what you are working on and it's not both ton you need a lot of uh, supporting modes and a few of the supporting modes is one of this one this is the blow of valve you notice that this blow of valve has two entrance so the the one side is the one that will control the spring inside like the valve which opens and closes and the other side is the one that is going to control uh actually not control by just to uh vent the air if we don't we don't need to uh play with the valve inside so it's this one because this is external and it also comes with a module and uh, i did get this module over here you see that so this module is the one that has a plug and play option so this one goes right over here sorry i think it's this eh? yeah so this one goes right over here oh no 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 sorry my bad i never used it before so all right i think this one goes right over here yeah this one connects over here come on there we go i'm not going to push it further so this one connects here and then this one just plugs into the play, plug and play blow over of um, electronic connection you have in, on n20 so with this one we will be able to run this with no issue and it's going to control our blow over of. so it's a kit that comes like this uh, comes with this one these connectors and uh, a few other stuff as well like this one where you will get the source for your uh, mass uh, airflow sensor reading and uh, we have some other hardware supporting hardware that i am going to use and it also comes with the tube this tube over here that's where you get your um that's where you get the air that comes in and reading and whatnot so it has a uh, one entrance and then you have two outputs there is also a diagram that they provided to me how to uh run the plumbing of this one this is a supporting mode that you will need when you're running an aftermarket table that is not plug and play on this application for the N20. And given that with the N20, there are so many sensors, you really want to make sure uh, you have proper supporting hardware. So with this one, this electronic uh, valve, uh, control valve and boost control valve, with this one, we'll be easily uh, able to use the OEM plug and play uh, connection electrical connection and I'm going to use uh, the, elect uh, the electronic Westgate controller for uh, N20 which I am going to mount right here so I'm going to remove this one and then mount the OEM which should be good to go all right so that's pretty much about it for this supporting mode but the other supporting mode that we need in order to mount all of this I believe that I did mention it on the previous episode yeah, the stuff that I mentioned on the previous episode, and I'll go quickly uh, around it. Uh, they are this one. These are the flanges that I, I made. So because of this turbo, we need to run 
there uh, we need to run the pipes and stuff like that and there is no off-the-shelf flange that you can buy and use so I came up with these ones these are completely well done and I explained a lot of uh, a lot of this in the in the previous episode so go watch that episode I was explaining about the flanges so these flanges will hook into the pipes and uh, the pipes will run and come and uh, meet the turbo over over here so uh, this is uh, this is it this is how we are going to do this one so stay tuned when this one is mounted man I'm, I'm really excited I'm really excited about this part now on the motor itself there are also a few things that I would like to share with you and I don't know if I did mention it on the other episode but I say I am still going to run through them so right here all right, so right here, what you are looking at, these are the motor mounts, left and right. And I also have the S63 TU injectors. They are all brand new, brand new in the box. And uh, I'm very, very pumped and excited about this build. I've got everything set, ready. So uh, in case you may be wondering what's going on behind the wheel, I have been sourcing parts. So I want to make sure when I do everything, I have all the parts ready and uh, it's just about putting this there, putting that there and uh, we are ready because what I want to do, once the motor is out, I will assemble it right there and then the next day it's to get the motor put it in the, uh, in the car. So I don't want anything to delay and I do have quite a lot. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you. I also ordered the gasket so these gaskets these are the sheets for the gasket because we ordered the flanges and uh, when we put the flanges we want to have the gasket although those gasket those flanges that are made the exhaust flanges uh, are going this one is going to sit perfectly into the OEM uh, place and this one is going to be uh, for the the exhaust flanges on top of it so i'll show you when we get there uh sorry if it doesn't make any sense and uh the other few stuff you know the drill look at what we have here uh i've got a full set of gaskets and everything else what we need when we do uh, the motor so we have all the gaskets ready as well so you can see that i am ready with this build and i am not playing so stuff that need to be run brand new i will use brand new stuff and the most important part that i was going to uh, look at is this one in this box so this box that you are seeing this one is the timing chain see that it's even written right here this is the timing chain kit. So I have the whole kit of the uh, timing, timing chain that I am going to use and uh, replace the, not replace, but put a brand new timing chain. That's why earlier I mentioned that I am not going to open uh, the other one because it's just going to be as it is. But on the new one, we are going to run everything brand new. Okay, I am now in my garage and uh, there is something I want to show you that is right here on the table. Okay, so what you are seeing here, this is the knuckle assembly for the uh, right side uh, on the passenger side at the back. The one that is there, it's kind of, I, I can't use it anymore because one, the bolt is broken and it's stuck in one of the thread. And also the, the rear axle, the axle is broken. All right, here is the rear axle I was talking about. You can see it's also broken over right there. It's broken. So there is nothing I can do about it. Uh, I already ordered a new one. And uh, you can see the grease around. You see this grease? No good at all. So uh, yeah, it wasn't a good idea. Not a good idea, but this is what happened. So it was already leaking for a very long time. And uh, yeah, so... Uh, this is this is what broken you see this part over here you see that yeah it's broken so it's supposed to have threads over there so this bolt is broken and uh, the whole thing is just messy right now so I'd rather just 
replace the whole thing because the threads of these parts is also bad these threads are no longer good anymore so i just have to replace them now if i have to guess what really happened and what caused it i would say probably this you see the red stuff this stuff adjustable control arms i think these control arms are not set up correctly i need to redo this and uh, i may happen to just drop the subframe the entire subframe drop it and uh, try to fix this uh control arms properly or maybe just put back the oem control arms because i really don't want to run to this issue anymore and um the car is set you can see i already put the rear bumper and it's already been painted uh, same as the front but there will be an episode where i will show you the entire the entire car transformation uh the rear and the back and you will see what i've done and how the m2cs is holding up uh you can see here everything flashed out properly without an issue don't worry about this one uh this guy who painted they're supposed to finish it but they told me to go back and uh they would do this properly but other than that that's where we at but uh the car is stationary and there's nothing we can do all right folks and uh this is it for these updates i know it was a lot of talking but i wanted to give you an update what's going on to uh in the shop not in the shop but what's going on in the uh, in the build and where i am with the build uh right now you can see things are just coming and they're piling up i'm working on something else and something is broke and uh, you just have to fix it, fix it along the way. I don't want to wait anymore. Sometimes what I do, oh, because I'm working on that one, and because I will be there, let me just wait. So right now, I don't, I don't want to wait anymore. So if I see something that I want to do, I'll just do it right away. For example, uh, I know that uh, when I drop the motor, there is uh, the the uh, what do you call it? the steering wheel rack. Uh, I have a problem with it. I, wa I was waiting to remove the motor and then when I remove the motor, it will be easier for me to work on it. But I'm just gonna fix it probably maybe uh, when I finish the, the back. Uh, I will, when I finish the back, then I will do the front and fix that steering wheel rack. I already have parts uh, in the box. I was just waiting for the motor to remove but Now I don't know when I will remove this motor. So let's just go and fix that. So probably once I'm done with uh, the rear, I will go ahead and fix this steering wheel uh, rack as well. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed these updates and uh, stay tuned. I will be dropping more of this quite often now uh, so that people stay up to date and they don't uh, have too many questions of what's going on. Maybe I just abandoned or something. But make sure you follow me on Twitter and also on Instagram so that you know what I'm up to.